I want to start with you. If you would unmute yourself and join us, I'd love to explore what's going on for you, what your biggest challenge is tonight. So you ready to play? Hi. Um, so I graduated with a bachelor in elementary and special ed, and I'm trying to become an advocate in the special education field. And I think getting my JD is going to help me achieve this goal. Um, I started writing my personal statement. I struggled a little bit to think of a topic, but then I remembered an intervention I made uh, working in a special ed classroom with a, a child with a learning disability. Um, so I just kind of been struggling to make it sound like I'm going to a law school and not a master's in education right now. Sure, sure. Well, it's great that you have that real world experience. You talked about the IEPs over email, those in, that's individual educational program. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. So I got the sense from your email that you were looking to advocate for these students to perhaps get them the proper help, the proper support. Is that correct? Correct. So what were some of the struggles you faced in navigating, I imagine, some bureaucracies and achieving that goal? Um, well, the biggest struggle in making that plan was definitely the research, um, making sure it was appropriate um, because I didn't feel very secure in myself, even though I had three years of courses um, in elementary and special education, I didn't feel like I was ready to make that intervention plan for this student because this was a real student with a real disability. And that was kind of a struggle I felt going through with that. Um, also, I could see that some of the teachers weren't so open to the intervention. Um, some who weren't um, with a background in special education. So that was another challenge that I had while doing that. Cool. So that, that all sounds fantastic to me. Okay. You've served as an advocate. You've navigated some bureaucracy. You've had to fight for th this particular student. You're representing them in a sense. And there were some folks who were not necessarily on board with that. Okay. So I see a lot of drama, a lot of struggle here. Did you ultimately persevere in this? Yeah, I did. <laughs> that's, that's even better. And if you hadn't, that would have been fine too. It's not necessarily about the end points, it's about what you learned along the way. But this obviously doesn't hurt. So this all sounds fantastic to me. Now, the, I guess the question you were asking me before was, how does this differ from simply pursuing a master's? Right. How does it differ? What would a master's involve? What does the law involve? Yeah, I mean, I just, I, I don't know. I just feel like every time I write it, I end up sounding like I'm applying for a master's program, which in some cases I am. There are dual programs with a JD and a master's in education, but for some schools where it's just solely JD, I'm having a hard time making it sound like this JD is going to help me achieve my end goal here of being an advocate because there are special education lawyers that do come into schools. So that is something that I'm interested in pursuing one day. Um, so what exactly does a special education lawyer do? They come in and they make sure that the special educator is following the IEP. The general educators are giving the appropriate accommodations to that student. Um, and just following the IEP to what is written for that student. Okay, so they're serving as a, as a check. They're doing some oversight in a sense. They're giving some accountability there. Right. And they're advocating on behalf of this particular student. Right. If the parent feels that the IEP isn't what their student needs or their child needs, and the school's kind of disagreeing with the parent, the advocate can come in and step in for the parent as well. Cool. So it sounds like you've gotten a real taste of what that's like based on your experience. Right. So I would just say, highlight that. Okay. Now, what, to address your concern more directly though, what would in master's program involve? You know, after getting the master's degree, what would you be doing in, instead rather than being an advocate, presumably? If I was to... Just simply pursue a master's and not pursue a JD. If I was to pursue a master's, um, what would I be doing instead? I would probably go back to teaching. Um, <laughs> sure. But yeah, if it was just solely a master's degree, it would just be for teaching. Right. And so that would just simply equip you to be a special, be a, be a, be a special ed teacher, be yeah. a teacher in general, perhaps at a slightly higher pay grade, perhaps, you know, plenty of teachers have master's degrees. That's fantastic. But they're doing something different in particular, because as an attorney, you would be serving as an advocate. You'd be coming in from the outside. Correct. And you'd be advocating on, particular, on behalf of one particular student at a time, perhaps. Right, right. Yep. So just emphasize that. Okay. Point. But I think your story already highlights the advocate in you and it highlights the kind of work that you'd be looking to do already. So you've already gotten a taste of that. Okay. So just call that out. 
That's perfect. Anything else going on for you? Um, I think that was my biggest challenge, honestly, just feeling that that topic, that story was good enough for a personal statement and just trying to focus it more toward the JD, which I feel like I can better do now. So thank you. Fantastic. <laughs> do you have a draft yet? I'm working on a draft, yeah. It's kind of feeling like a story, which I don't know if that's exactly the way I should go about it. <laughs> but, um, it's a work in progress. <laughs> Well, a story is fine. A story is certainly more compelling than not a story. So okay. I would say you're probably on the right track. Just go deep on this particular story, this particular anecdote, okay. and call out and emphasize the, the role that you played as an advocate. Okay. Perfect. Fantastic, Lauren. Well, thank, thank you. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.